Hey everyone, this is uh, step three in digitize your books, digitize your library. This is Peter uh, with the tips and secrets that I've learned when digitizing my paper, as I like to call it, wood pulp based library into digital PDF format that you can take anywhere with you on your slate slash tablet device, whether it's an iPad, a Samsung, whatever. So in this episode, we're going to talk very quickly about what software I use. Now, I've already talked in the last in the last episode about the Epson ES200. Fantastic scanner. I love it. Again, not a paid endorsement, just a sincere, honest recommendation. It does come with software. It comes with a bunch of software, including the ABBYY scanner software. It's not bad software. You can certainly use that. Um, I don't use it. Uh, personally, I prefer using software called NAPS2. That stands for Not Another PDF Scanner Version 2. Um, I just like it because it lets me very easily create a custom page size, which I uh, determine uh, just using uh, the prepared book that we've got and uh, measuring it with a ruler and I set up the custom page size that I want with NAPS2 software and then I just put the pages in and uh, scan using NAPS2. Just Google NAPS2. I'll put a link in the description where you can download it. Um, NAPS2 does permit uh, things like OCR or optical character recognition. I don't use it for that because I'm going to do that in the next step, which is using the uh, the Adobe Acrobat software, which not only does OCR, but also does page straightening and a very important thing called clear scan or now known as editable, editable, yes, editable text and images, um, which allows you to greatly reduce the size of the scan and is a huge tip, but that's in the next video. So for now, the tip is NAPS2, not another PDS scanner, free software. Anyone can use it. I encourage you to go download it and uh, try it out. See what you think. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.